Welcome to Thinking Out Loud. We have our guest. Hi, I'm Destiny. This is Destiny. Destiny, what do you what what do you do for work right now? Um, I work in food service. I work at Duncan. Work at Duncan. Yeah. Done. So how long have you lived in Vermont? Um, about four years. So twenty nineteen and then I left in twenty twenty one and I came back. Came back. Yeah. Do you have family in the area? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I have my mother, I have my brother. Um, I have two siblings who moved up here and they didn't like it, so they just went back to Jersey. And I have three younger siblings up here. Oh, wow. Mm -hmm. yeah. So has your mom always lived here? Mm -mm. So my mother moved here in 2017 to be closest to my brother. You want me to look at you? You, want to look at you? you can look at me. Can yeah. I move it? Oh, my apologies, Jay. That's my apologies. told life was rough in Jersey and I had an aunt who moved my brother out here my brother told her to come out here and it worked okay cool can we see see very very Jay do you, you want, want me to turn this way I'm wondering if I'm there. wondering if we should um know if she sits here and, and doesn't move her chair here okay. so lol <laughs> you're like I came from here I got you um yeah, so since 2017, mm -hmm. so she, she came here because a relative said to come here? Yeah, and, you know, she was trying to get help. Jersey don't help you, like, with, like, government assistance, financial assistance. Like, she's been on it for a long time. Yeah. And I guess in this state, they help you more. So she got a lot of assistance, assistance that she never got in Jersey. Mm -hmm. So it was more like a help up. Yeah. 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 I've heard that the city is harder, it's not as great services because it's bigger. You know, yeah. it's hard to give everybody the yeah. individual attention or sort of individual attention that Vermont does. Yeah. For yeah. sure. Um, so I'm just we're just gonna be blatantly honest and just yeah. like talk just regularly. Yeah, and, 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 you and, and if something mm. comes to you and you're and you're like, Hey, I'm not going down that road, you can tell us. There's nothing you can ask. Yeah. answer. And you can swear or whatnot. Yeah. You don't have to worry about your language. Okay. Um, it's perfectly fine. Um, how does it feel being a minority in Vermont? Awkward. 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 Um, where can I start? So when I first moved here, the lack of diversity got to me. It yeah. got to me. Like, I was shocked. I'm like, there's no black people, not not one. Like it was so rare to see a black person to the point where whenever I see like a black person, I'm like, oh my gosh, like I don't know, like how are you? They're like, oh my gosh, it's so great to see you too, right? And then I remembered when I was walking down the street and I was new to Vermont, and little old me just walking on the sidewalk, and like these white this white couple just like crossed the street as if I was a threat. Um, so far. It still feels awkward. Like, I feel like I can't be myself. Like, I feel like I have to put on a mask. Whereas, like, if I speak this way, I'm hostile. If I speak this way, I'm ghetto. But if I speak, oh, they're like, oh, you're not, you're, you're, you're really not. So it's, it depends, like, who you meet. I've also met, like, people who say they moved to Vermont to get away from people like me. So being a minority, where it's like the culture shock is also for Vermonters too. They're not used to seeing black people. Have you it's ever a predominantly white state? Have you ever felt unsafe with, mm, like in Vermont, or with a bunch of white people? Or... No, no, no. Um, I feel like. Unsafe is weird. I don't think I've ever felt like unsafe about being around white people. I think that is, I think y'all funny as hell actually. <laughs> um, but cool as shit. <laughs> uh, the things that African Americans joke about 
I kind of like experienced it here in Vermont and it's funny but like being around white people like growing up we used to always say like where I'm from oh I want to be around white people I want to have white friends because we always have this perception that all white people are rich it's ignorant I know yeah but it's 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 not always true Mm -hmm. um so now I'm like okay here I am in Vermont I want white friends how do I make friends because that's all I'm around I don't know I don't know I've met I've met some of them I've met like two people and it's annoying when you meet a person and they know that you're black and the first thing they say is girl like hey girl girl and I'm like you don't you don't gotta do all of that you don't gotta be ghetto or pretend that you're ghetto to impress me like I've had a lot of like white friends like that and I'm like yeah you good like you don't gotta speak like that like just you speak normal you good like I'm not you good you know, I think, I think, um, you know, my partner is, is black and, um, you think, or he is, <laughs> I know, I know, he is black, he's definitely black, but, um, it's interesting, the looks and stares, mm-hmm. and I totally, I'm totally blind to that at some times, yeah. and he'll be like, oh, let's go to the mall, or like, let's go here. Or I'll say, let's go to the mall with it, let's go here. He's like, yeah, I'm not sure I can do that many white people at one time. Like, I don't know if that's going to work. <laughs> so, but he feels the same way. And when mm-hmm. he saw you at work, he's like, she's cool shit. Like, I was like, a black person? I know. A black like, person? <laughs> the same thing. And he was, the same, he was having the same kind of shell shock yeah. as, as you. Mm-hmm. And I can understand because when I've gone into the cities yeah. and I've been the minority there, yeah. It does feel awkward, and I can't yeah. imagine living somewhere yeah. where I mean, I'm totally like, yeah, I don't see race, I don't see yeah. color, you know, it's just one kind of kind of algorithm for me, it doesn't really matter. Yeah. But I know a lot of people are very, um, I want to go as far as saying racist, but are, are, yeah. are a little hesitant towards people that are of any other color but white yeah yeah Uh, so how how is it you have a child mm -hmm. and she she just turned two she just turned two yeah so she will hopefully grow up with a little more diversity um than what see that's that's the thing when you talk about diversity when you talk about living in a white state i'm like okay i want my child to grow it sounds ignorant but i want my child to grow up around white people but I have my reasons for that. Okay. So one being is where I grew up, I have to worry about people getting shot. I have to worry about crime on crime, right? Um, I have to think about the school system. So the school that I grew up in and how we are black people and just black women in general, older girls in high school, they focus on lace fronts and you know eyelashes and doing this and that. She goes to a white school, she don't have to worry about trying to like, be too grown for her age yeah and it sounds it really sounds crazy and i don't know how to make it sound like are you we just cherish being around like we've always grown up black people always say oh i want to be around white i want to go to a white neighborhood i want to and there's reasons for that like there's reasons for that it's just like are you scared for her safety yeah like if i bring her to jersey i'll be scared for her safety i would have to worry about like people getting shot like i have anxiety about that but i also have anxiety about being in vermont too like i don't like being outside i go straight from work to home i don't go outside um i don't know it's like i don't know how to explain it like with my daughter is it's just different it's different do you think that you i mean it's the middle of winter so rightfully so you wouldn't have your daughter out doing much yeah. in the middle of the winter anyways, but we have a really, really nice park. Yeah, I've been know, to it. I've playground been. and stuff like that. I mean, is that something that you wouldn't do or are you I've cautious about I've that? I've done it. No, thing? like I've, I've taken her there and I've, you know, I've met like, I've met a couple of um, parents. Sometimes I just feel like I didn't fit in. Mm-hmm. And it was mainly because I'm like, you know, all these, these white folks, they, you know, they cool. I don't know them. Like I was at the park, like, during the summer and there was this doctor and she was there with her children and she was talking to another white woman. I'm like, I can't relate to y'all. I don't, I don't even fit into y'all type of 
So I'm not going, I'm not going to sit there. Like, I would love to have mom friends, but I don't know how that would work. I don't know how that would work. Just... So we have something in town um, called Head Start. Does your oh, she, my daughter gets Head Start. So um, Head Start used to have, like, play groups and stuff like that. Did they um, still do that? So the play groups go through the, I think, the libraries. So I've lived in Barrie. Um, she has Head Start that comes over every Thursday. They've been doing that. Sorry, Jay. They've been doing that since last year. Um, wonderful lady. Her name is Jen. Beautiful soul. Um, and she does activities with her. Yeah. I like it. That's that's one of the services that I like about being in Vermont. You can't get that in Jersey. You probably could, but you'd have to jump through hoops. Like, yeah. I don't want to keep saying white people, but I would. I don't know how else to place it. Like, I know that like y'all help y'all people out a lot. So, well, I think small town living tends to help people out more too. Yeah. Like I think that we're a close knit community in mm-hmm. some essences. And everyone here is so nice. And most of the people here are very nice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I would say that most of the people in here are very nice. I've lived here close to thirty years, and um, you know, always been in Vermont, and mm-hmm. I've always just kind of cherished that kind of point in time. Last year, I was in Michigan. Yeah. For a few weeks. You like it? I did like it out there. But the crime is the only thing that set me off. Like, I'm like, I can't do the crime. I can't do laying down on my floor when you hear shots the next studio. Was it just, was it like diverse or was it mainly black? Um, it was a lot of black people, but Mm -hmm. the majority of was, um, Indian and Arabic Mm -hmm. people. Um, so it wasn't, there wasn't a lot of, like, just black and white. It was, yeah. it was a lot nice. more Indian people yeah. than where I was, at least. I was yeah. 20 minutes outside of Detroit, so it was a little bit more... Girl? Yeah, <laughs> segregated. But, um, yeah, I can relate. You know, I can say that my kids have never had to, like, get down on the floor and use their bullets fly, and they've never seen their friend shot yeah. or they've never seen a junkie in an alley they've never yeah. seen those things um they have witnessed witness crime because their father was killed three years ago yeah. and um they have witnessed some crime yeah. um but they're pretty i don't like using this word but they're pretty privileged as far as that's concerned as far as like somebody that's growing up in the city and even my partner that's grown up in chicago you know, where you have to basically fight for your life every single day. Chicago's worse. Yeah, they Chicago's have the high. Can you I, turn the lights on? You good? Yeah, I, I think I'm gonna push the envelope a little with this question. Go ahead. You don't have to be afraid to ask me. But what's your feelings on BLM? BLM, like. Black Lives Matter? Yes. Um, honestly, our lives do fucking matter. <laughs> it does. Um, so, funny story. So, I remember when this whole Black Lives Matter thing was, like, going on when the cop had killed, I think it was a lawyer, and it was, like, two years ago. And I was in Vermont at the time, and it was kind of a fucked up thing to do. But like, I was walking past a garage where it had like Blue Lives Matter, and I tore it down. And my reason being is everyone is forgetting the point of Black Lives Matter. Like, there was this lady who had Blue Lives Matter written on her car, and I'm like, y'all, y'all are making it about y'all. White Lives Matter. Nobody said all lives didn't matter, right? But Black Lives Matter, and there's a reason for that movement. Like. The fact that we feel like our lives don't matter, we've been we've been gone through we went through slavery and everybody say, Oh, black people can't be racist. <laughs> I mean, yeah and no. Yeah and no. You can't you can't get mad at black people for being angry. So black lives do matter. All lives matter, but our lives matter when there's a gun put in your face and you're an African-American and there's a white cop with all this privilege and your words don't matter in that moment. But if it was a white person 
all hell would break loose if that person died. Because you hear so many stories about there's multiple black men that have been shot and they don't get coverage. And that is why we say black lives matter, because if it was another white person, y'all would go crazy for them. So this is us going crazy for our black people, yeah. right? I love, I love my white people. I love my white people. I have siblings who moved here in 2017 and they don't like Vermont. They don't like white people. We used to say black people can't be racist. Am I racist? No. But my siblings are. They, they fucking hate Vermont. They, they feel uncomfortable. They feel out of their skin. Like, I have a niece who literally moved here like two months ago and she just started school in Mount Pillar. One of the little girls in the school told her that her mom told her she can't play with her because she's black and she's going to put a camera on her hair. Like, and my sister went straight back to Jersey for that reason. Like, <laughs> it's, so upset. it's so upsetting for me to hear that because I think Vermont needs this. Mm -hmm. I think Vermont needs the diversity. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Burlington mm -hmm. or go to Springfield, mm -hmm. go to those kind of little cities, and the diversity is much more than it is here mm -hmm. in Randolph, obviously. Um, it's definitely better than when my kids first started. My, my kids are mixed. They're, their father's from India, mm -hmm. and I'm obviously white, but um, they're not even, they're not even black. They're, they're Indian, mm -hmm. and they don't really, have, they don't look mixed, I don't think. I think um, I saw them. But they, me. but they, um, you know, in Vermont, the saying goes, so I'm told, is if you're not white, you're black. It doesn't matter any subsidiary, Jamaican, Haitian, yeah. Mexican, you know, whatever. And that's... There's a reason for that, though. But it's ignorant. It's ignorant. But it's ignorant, it's, right? Like, if you date back to, like, the 1940s, where, like, before slavery ended, they didn't, they treated Spanish people the same way. They treated anybody who wasn't white the same way. You, you get treated like a nigga. It don't matter who you are. As long as you're not white, you're going to be treated like a nigga. It's the truth. It's the truth. Are you did like a what? Like a nigga. Like, and I She said what you thought she said. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> like, it's, and it's the truth. Like, oh, man. I have a friend who moved here from Ohio, and she hates it here. But my question to her is why don't she leave? Like, she's racist, and she hates it. To the point where she complains about every white person and i'm like if you hate it so much move back because it's it's like yeah i i hear your concerns because she she started like this whole um like black diversity thing in vermont where she wants to fight for black people and their rights mm -hmm. but she's so intimidated by white people and it's like why are you so intimidated like to the point where it makes her paranoid and i can't be mad at her because she had a racist neighbor. She did have, she she experienced racism. Like, I remember one time I went to, we, we went to look at like a, um, like a store she went in to rent out something and she had a neighbor who lived under her. And while we were in the car, she got a call from the Montpelier police saying that they heard gunshots in her house. And she has a white neighbor who's always taunting her. And it became to the point where she ended up suing like down the street and Jeez. like, it was, a, it was a mess. It was a lot, and it's still a lot for her. Like, she's so intimidated. Like, she opened up this beautiful photography photography store in, in the Yuma, and she just, she won't open it to anyone. She's really intimidated by white people. Why? I don't know. It's, it's, it's sad to me. Yeah. I get very sad when I hear stuff like that, and I get very sad when people leave our state because of one or two people. Yeah. I hate that. It makes it it makes me feel like that that Vermont's getting this bad name, you know. Um But Vermont is just, such a nice state. It is a nice state to live. It it's just it's nice. It just brings me back to again that couple who said they moved to Vermont to get away from people like us. Yeah, and I wish I knew who that was. <laughs> it was just like two men walking and saw a black person and used that person as an example in the and middle of broad daylight. Yeah, that was, that's very uncalled for. And I'm really yeah. sorry that that happened because that's not the way that the majority of the people that live here feel. That's not the half of it. Let's talk about how I worked at KFC at one point and this white lady who has biracial kids was saying nigga 25 eight and she's like i can say that because i have biracial kids and my husband is black oh, no, and no, she's no. white and i'm like oh, no, 
And then I was on the bus and there's this dude and he's like, oh, I can say that. I, I don't understand why, we, why, it's, why it's such a bad word. And here's the thing, like me being where I'm from, we use it a lot. We use it a lot. We use it for fun. We use it with every conversation and the intent is never wrong. But when a white person uses it, it's wrong because they came up with the word. I was just going to ask you that because like, I can we use... Yeah, like... <laughs> I, mean, I, mean, it, I mean, if you want to say it descriptive, descriptory, but not to, like, yeah. be degrading. Yeah. In this conversation. Yeah, like, 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 for example, like, I'm good friends with Amy and Jay, mm -hmm. and, like, we were FaceTiming, mm -hmm. and... By mistake. Mm -hmm. Jay used that word. Yeah. I had I was faced I was on YouTube when Jay called mm -hmm. and I was listening to it, one of my favorite YouTubers who happens to be black. Mm -hmm. Her husband happens to be black as an interracial couple and mm -hmm. she was on the phone and Jay goes, What's up, my And that's how we talk. That's and, how black and, folks talk. And Jay goes, um But that's uh, <laughs> that's normal. Like, let me explain that to you. So that's normal to us, right? So if I'm having a conversation, like I was having a conversation with my boyfriend, I was telling him about work today, and I'm like, these niggas at work, like, babe, that's how black people, like, we we use that so frequently, it's normal to us. But make a white person say, eh, 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 no, like, <laughs> one of my friends. You don't know that white people use that word. I try, I try not to, but I have, I have, uh, I shouldn't, I shouldn't. I give some people a pass. Um, I give my sister-in-law a pass, and she's like, um, I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Mm -hmm. I know I shouldn't. But I do. Um, I do have a friend who posted on Facebook that she used that word, and she's white. And we had a conversation about it. And she's like, you know, there's no racism in my heart. I can say it all I want. But that's an ignorant mindset right there because... You were the same female who went to Chicago and didn't like it because it was a lot of black people, but you can't say that around them. Uh, or I had a roommate a couple weeks ago who was living with me and she likes black men and she thinks she's black and she's fully white. And she was using that word and I had to stop her. And I'm like, we don't, we don't do that. We but, don't do that. Like, for example, I'm not going to use that this word because I know Brendan don't like, this oh, yes. word. Yeah. Like, what is the word though? I want to hear. You can use the word. Brenda's not here. Tard. Tard. Yeah. Or tard. Okay. Like, because me and my grandfather like joking around. Yeah. Like, he just call me a. Yeah. T what the you tard is? Yeah. Or cause, uh, Same thing, right? So, yeah. like, if I'm a black person and, which I am, and you know, you a white person, you're like, oh, um, I can't say that word, or you being a part of, is it the disabled? Disabled. disabled you can't say, you can't, I can't say the part of you. It's, uh -uh. it's fucked up. You can't say that, right? Right. right. It's derogatory. Yeah. yeah. So sure. it's like, it goes, it goes hand in hand, but then it goes back to black people saying, oh, like, that's my nigga. Like, that's, that's how we talk. When I tell you that's how, I call my sisters, I'm like, yo, this nigga just made me mad. Did I tell you what this nigga did? Like, yeah. that's our normal conversation. Yeah. And it's uncomfortable for people. I, I'm pretty sure if I ever, like, was speaking to a black person in my job and I said that word, it would look at me like I'm crazy. Yeah. And I'm like, that's, that's normal for us. Right. That's normal. It's offensive yeah. to you, but that's normal to us. Well, I think it's not. It's not even so much that it's offensive to us that we've been taught that is offensive to say. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like, it's just, like... We were taught never yeah. to say that yeah. word. Yeah, and it's crazy, right? Because why is black, why are black people allowed to say it if y'all not? Right. I think, I, I, I honestly... But that's not a question you ask yourself? Yeah. Like, how are we allowed to say it, but you can't? And I think it's derogatory even for a black person to say it to themselves, but... That's just the way that my mind yeah. ha had originally come up with, like, you know, that's a negative word. Yeah. Same. So, so, like, 
I, I don't know if it should be said at all. Like, I don't know if anybody should be saying it, but I, think, I understand why yeah. black people have it as part of their, their, yeah. their vocabulary, but, um, the way in which the name it's originated, used, yeah, it's, it's, it's you know, up. it's, it's, it's kind of messed up, you know? I think the worst thing you can say is nigger. Like, if you said nigger, it would be like, what she just said? But if you kind of slip and be like, yeah, nigger, I'm like, no, no. It's, it's what you say and how you say it. But I think when, if a, per, if a white person said nigger, the odd black person on here, did they just say nigger? I was like, you just, what did you just say? <laughs> like, I don't so. really think I could really say that word come out of my like, mouth without it sounding really white. <laughs> <laughs> I am comparing like and the E R to the A. It's it's a di- it makes a difference. It yeah. makes it makes just a little bit of a difference. But, but it's also how you say it and who says it. Like I speak to my sister in law. My sister in law is white. Again, I shouldn't allow her to say that. But she'll be like, this nigga and like she'll be referring to my brother and I'm like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And how long has she been your sister in law? Um, 2018. Yeah. Okay. 2017, 2018. Okay. And Bert's cool. Bert's pretty cool. He's yeah. pretty cool. Yeah. So, I mean, it's a pick and choose. And but it shouldn't you should, be. You shouldn't. No, it shouldn't be. But what? you're not going to just walk up to any old black person on the street and say, what'd you say, right? It depends. If you know them, yeah, or you if, think that they're gonna be cool with it. If I see I mean, Jay as a outside, white person, I mean as a white person. If I see him Jay outside and I never met him, and he, I'll be like, "What's up, my nigga?" He'll be like, "Cool," because I could just tell by the way he looked. Yeah. He's cool with that. Yeah. Like, yeah. So there's definitely, there's definitely, you can tell. Time, yeah, definitely, definitely ways that you can tell if somebody's gonna be okay with that situation or not. Mm-hmm. But then it's not something you just go around saying I'm like, oh, that's not it. No. Like, it depends on how cool you are with that person. If you don't know them and you can just tell because I'm really good at judging people um, in a good way. Like, I know how to deal with you and what manner to deal with you based off how you look, how you dress. I know that if I seen a black man a black African man straight out of Nigeria in a suit coming to my job. I can't call him a nigga. I can't say what's up, my nigga. <laughs> like, right. I can't say that to you. Exactly. You gonna look at me like, what did you just say? Yeah. So let's let's move forward from that for a little bit. Yeah. What are you, what is what are you planning on doing in Vermont? I know are you gonna say I wanna go? leave. You wanna leave. I wanna leave. Yeah. Um so far it's this state has helped me a lot. And I like it, but it makes me depressed because I feel like I can't be myself, and I'm um, I'm homesick. Um, this is a small town. I'm used to Orange is like two miles, but it's like a city, like it's like New York. Yeah. Imagine downtown yeah. Randolph with a million people walking on the sidewalks and a bunch of stores up and down the streets. That's yeah. what I'm mm-hmm. used to. And where you can go shopping any time of day. And the poppy yeah. store, the corner store, the bodega, like. Yeah. I can't get the stuff that I want. I like it here. Don't get me wrong. I love yeah. it. You know, everyone here is nice. They're kind. Um, but my sisters moved back and they didn't like it. And I've I've been like trying to make it work here for the sake of me being my being a mother and trying to make it work for my circumstances. And I'm ready to get out of here. Like my mom's also ready to get out of here. Oh, she's ready to get yeah, out of here. A lot of people are ready to get. <laughs> like she goes to Jersey every week. My bad for cutting you off. Go ahead. A lot of people ready to get out out of Vermont yeah. and Dodge. Yeah. But I Vermont, so I know. Yeah, Vermont. And right now. Yeah. honestly, you can take the boy out of Vermont. But yeah. you can't take, take the, yeah. Vermont out of the boy. Yeah, that's the same thing. That's the same thing with Jersey. Like, I feel like maybe, maybe this to me, this state is like a country state, and you know, everybody here has a curfew. Everything closes at a certain time. There's really nothing yeah. to do, and it's boring, yeah. which is good. Boring is good. Because it's not a lot that goes on here, mm-hmm. as far as like crime, is everything is just it's quiet. The people are nice. It's safe. One of the safest states. 
but and I like it. I've always wanted this piece. I've always said I've wanted to live around this this type of setting and country. Got a camera. Oh my bad. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. And I like it. I'm just like, okay, I've had enough. I've had enough of not seeing what I'm used to. I'm I have had enough of not having good food, like Jamaican restaurants. You go to the poppy store, you could get like a turkey sandwich. Mm -hmm. I can't, you know, there's a little corner. And you can get your hair done anywhere. Hell, <laughs> don't get me started. <laughs> don't get so, me started. So, so my partner got his hair done in white in West Lebanon mm -hmm. the other day, mm -hmm. and she did a really, really good job. Mm -hmm. She's Jamaican. Super yeah. cuts. Uh, no, not super cuts. It's a um, black owned um, little salon in Lebanon. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know how much she charged him, but she did a really, really good job. So, um, but other than that, there's diversity and and well, let's talk about the hair. Yeah, let's, let's talk. Let's talk about how I had to travel four hours for that. Yeah, Took a whole yeah. bus and yeah. like got a hotel. Like, yeah, you have to go somewhere far away to get yeah. your hair done. Yeah, and it's not. It's that's not right. If we're gonna have if we're gonna have diversity in Vermont, yeah, then we have to have places where, where you can people can do their mm -hmm. shopping mm -hmm. and can do their their um clothes and mm -hmm. hair and nails <laughs> and feel inclusive. Mm -hmm. And I thought it was a pain in the ass trying to get a ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, ponytails are pretty easy compared to having to braid your hair or yeah. whatever. But because I can't do it myself. You got a lot of hair, Jeff. Thank you got more hair than me. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you had short hair because I always... It looks short the way it is, but... I always like... see you in a hat. Yeah, it looks short right now, but the, it, it's thin and it's kind of thin and close to the hair loss. <laughs> Yeah. So, so when do you when do you see yourself kind of bouncing? Do you see yourself going soon in a year? What are you thinking? God's for life all goes well. Probably next year. I want to leave now, but I just changed my schedule for work that way I can travel to Jersey as much as I'd like. Okay. Well, I'm only working two days a week, and I can be around my sisters because they're like, "Come back down here. We know you're tired of being around Vermont. Like, just you don't do it." How are you getting to Jersey? Oh, the train. The train? The train. Um, the train takes how long? Nine hours? Eight hours? Six to eight hours. Six to eight hours. You're one of my favorite workers. Yeah, I am? Yeah. I try. I try. I try to be cool. Me too. You know who the other one I really like is Tova. Tova has grown on me so much. I don't know why, but she's grown on me. I've known Tova since she was a little girl, so I know Tova's, That's why. Tova's in and in. She's, and out, she's so. good. She's good. I really like Asia, too. No, I, I love, like I love Miss Asia. Yeah, like Asia's pretty Asia. sweet, too, down yeah. there. Yeah, they all cool. Yeah, they're, so. all pretty good ki they're all pretty good people, and mm -hmm. it's nice, but um, I'm going to be sad to see you go. Me, mm, too. For sure, but I completely understand. Mm -hmm. I mean, my... My long-term plans, to be very honest, are yeah. moving out of the state of Vermont as well. Yeah. I don't know where I'm going to go. Gonna go. Um, I really like Michigan, yeah. and it really depends on how my relationship goes with Jay. Yeah. Um, we won't ever move back to like Chicago or anything. It will be someplace different. And I don't know if I'll be here the rest of my life. I don't know. Mm -hmm. um, you know, My house is paid off, so I don't have a mortgage payment. I just have to pay really high taxes mm -hmm. um, that are like a mortgage payment. Yeah. <laughs> um, but um, my kind of thoughts are to leave my house to one of my kids yeah. and they can do with whatever they want to do with it. I'm going to sell it to them um, so that I'm not walking out blind mm -hmm. and um, then move somewhere where we don't have winter. Florida is your best bet. No, I'm not going to Florida. There's no. too many hurricanes. In no, Texas? Yeah, that's too new. Arizona? Maybe. My daughter's in Arizona. So do Arizona. So maybe, maybe Arizona. But she's coming to Rhode Island. She's moving to Rhode Island okay. at the end of next year. So all my kids are on the East Coast. So we'll probably have to stand to be some of the place on the East Coast. But yeah. North Carolina, South Carolina, Virginia. You'll yeah, probably like it. that don't, doesn't get a lot of snow, but maybe gets snow once in every three years. I don't know. That's a little south side. <laughs> <laughs> you like, no. <laughs> I love Georgia. I had it. I had an all 
in all fairness, I've been married a few times. George is beautiful. Um, and I was with a Jamaican mm -hmm. for about six years. Mm -hmm. And um, his family was in Georgia and Jamaica. Yeah. So we went to Georgia a few times. And they took me to the Baptist church. Mm -hmm. The most amazing place to be. That's, why, that's another reason I'm mad. Because I, can't, I grew up in a Baptist church and I can't find that in Vermont. Yeah, the Baptist like, church here is not like that. There's not a lot of praising and worshiping and singing. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm going to be stereotypical here for a minute. But big black women that have big boobs that <laughs> just pull you close and hold you. Hold and you. Make you <laughs> Like you are a love yes. person and yes. they haven't seen you in years. Yeah. I'm telling you the amount mm -hmm. of um the amount of the the feelings that I got mm -hmm. off of that one trip and twice going to church mm -hmm. down there, I have never felt so welcome, mm -hmm. even in Vermont, so welcome and so loved and not and not feeling like a minority there mm -hmm. when I was literally the only white person <laughs> in that church. Yeah. And this big, I'm telling you, it was like a Medea. Mm -hmm. This big, big black <laughs> woman just took me and pulled me into her bosom and mm -hmm. just was like holding me tight. I'm telling you, it was the best thing. That's another reason I'm sad. I wish I could find that here in Vermont. I, I wish I could find Baptist that here church. in Vermont. Because that, people need that. Mm -hmm. People need that love. People need that mm -hmm. feeling of all-inclusiveness mm -hmm. and not feeling different for one way or another. Aww. And that was amazing to me. I love I love that. And same with Jamaica, going mm -hmm. to Jamaica. I went You've been to, to Jamaica? I have been to Jamaica. What? Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So I went to... Clarendon. Okay. Um, and then I went to um Montego Bay. Okay. And where else did we go? My father lives in Jamaica. Yeah. Yeah, he got deported when I was a little baby. Oh no, that's too bad. I have a weird question. Yes, what's up? Is what, don't be uh, if black people's cuisine the same as white people's cuisine? Absolutely not. That's why I'm stressing in Vermont right now. <laughs> <laughs> like that, it's it's I could probably I could probably non-white. I I don't think I cook whitish at all. Mm -hmm. I, cool. I have like 500 seasonings in my <laughs> and like I'm um, like every day ah! it's like you know and onion powder and garlic powder go in it's a must it's yeah, a must that go in yeah. you need some um, jerk seasoning too but oh yeah I got jerk seasoning downstairs okay, for sure okay. um some slap your mamas yeah. Like what some, yeah girl I got everything girl. I call this the salt and pepper state <laughs> oh yeah well it's fun it's funny because you know, J my partner Jay loves to cook, and since my back has not been feeling great the last couple of days, he's kind of been like, "Hey, just go lay down, and yeah. I'll deal with dinner." Aww. So last night he made chicken tenders. No, night before last he made chicken ten homemade chicken tenders, mm -hmm. and I, I laughed at him the very first time he made chicken tenders. Why? Well, because. <laughs> just hear me out, okay? I almost listening. I'm used to like I make chicken tenders with like this quick and some herbs and spices and it's like a thicker batter you know it's kind of like a chicken nugget from um, McDonald's that has like a bat like that kind of batter on it so listen just listen I hadn't made chicken tenders in forever because I was on a weight loss journey and not frying anything okay mm -hmm. so he gets out flour <laughs> mm -hmm. he gets out the flour mm -hmm. okay I'm like make chicken nuggets with flour he goes i grew up poor he goes i need a little bit of milk flour and spices and he goes you got a grocery bag exactly you put it in a flour you shake it up in that bag I like grocery bag yes like, you get money. a plastic bag yeah a plastic bag plastic not not a bag. not not the reusable no, ones no, 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 no. Plastic grocery bag. Mm -hmm. i was like i have ziploc bags will that work he's like no, like, don't we have any store bags? I was like, yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah in the cabinet. He pulled out the store bag, put the flour and the seasonings mm -hmm. in there, and made chicken nuggets out of that. And I was like, it was the best damn chicken nuggets ever. The chicken tenders ever. Like, ever. Like, I've never tasted that 
Tasted it. And now time. what I'm going to cook with them, though. Chicken tenders? You're going to cook chicken tenders with them? <laughs> Absolutely. It's so funny, though. But I, but like tonight and last, last night, I made pizza. Mm -hmm. I faced pizzas from Aldi's. And I always dress up my pizzas. I put pepperoni and sausage and onion peppers and whatever. Mm -hmm. Double pepperoni, whatever. Um, and then tonight, he's making breakfast bowls. Okay. And it's okay. just fried potatoes, mm -hmm. fried so he to cook. He he's cooking. What he you knows that I, He knows that I don't feel well, so it's just been making that one. I make lots of stuff. I yeah. can make pretty much anything under the sun. But um, you know, my kids are like my well, my kids aren't really kids. They're nineteen and twenty six that live here. But you know, they like fried food and they like. Yeah. Bone sticking food. Mm -hmm. And if okay. I keep eating bone sticking food, I'm going to be 1,200 pounds. You didn't think so. it looked good on you. <laughs> you got all that junk in that chicken. Right, exactly. Yeah. I think that's why he likes me anyway. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What's your bad it's, so It's so funny. I have, to, I, have to, I have to blast and burn it because it's just so funny the other night. I'm laying in bed and I got my pajamas on, and all seven of the animals, our animals, are on the bed. Mm -hmm. All seven of them. She's like, he's like, uh, can I take a picture of you with the animals? I was like, yeah. So he takes the first one and I look ghastly. I was like, my hair was like all different flavors and colors and everything. <laughs> like, no, this isn't working. I'm like, yeah. so I put my um, head wrap on and, and, and you get a head wrap. Well, like a it's like bag? a bandana type thing that goes up. A do rag. Head. Not a do rag. Yeah. It's just a bandana. Okay, okay. So I put that on, and I was like, "Okay, take the picture." So I take the picture, and he comes over to show me the picture, and he my pant leg was kind of up so that my ankle was showing, or my ankle was showing. Mm -hmm. What's a ankle? It's like a fat ankle. Okay. okay. <laughs> so he's looking at he's looking at me. He goes, oh, "Straight ankles." <laughs> ankles. <laughs> ankles. My ankles, like a little fat roll on my ankle. LOL. And he's like, he's like, I just love it. You're so chubby. And I was like, please don't call me chubby. She's talking about the ass. Like, the ass is fat. Like it's fat. fat. It jiggles when you walk. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it goes. Yeah, it claps. <laughs> it claps. <laughs> How good. Can it, what do you mean? <laughs> so, you love. No, I'm not showing you. <laughs> What do you mean cabooses? Asses. Oh. <laughs> yeah. So bigger butts. Yeah. And they say they can make their butt cheeks clap by walking. Oh. They do. Yeah, so. They don't even gotta try. Yeah, they don't even gotta try. So and I've 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 always had a bigger backside. So guys have always that's one thing guys have always commented on because black guys, not white guys. Because white they guys, love that. White guys hate White guys don't want any part of it. Black men love that. Black men love it. Like what? Jamaican guys love it. What? African guys love it. What? Asses. Asses. <laughs> 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 oh, so, uh, this month is Black History Month. Mm -hmm. What does Black History Month mean to you? <sighs> what does it mean? In it short, means like the melanin short. should be celebrated every day. It means the go to the the box braids, just like cherishing black people overall. Like black women are goddesses, black men are kings. Mm -hmm. They should be cherished. Right? So, so what can a white person mm -hmm. do to help celebrate um, Black History Month? Okay. And is it appropriate for a white person to celebrate yeah. Black History Month? Of course, why not? Okay, that's like saying, why can't we celebrate, you know, something else that a white person celebrate? We yeah. all celebrate the same holiday. Yeah. So what, what, what do you, what would do you see a white person doing to celebrate Black History? Month? Would you like in the city? Not taking away the spotlight okay. of Black history. Not taking away the spotlight. Okay. Like, yeah. 
people making ignorant comments like, on white online about Black History Month. Don't take our shine away. Like, like we, we get out. We need. We need that. Like y'all have y'all days. Why can't we just? This for, is our day. For example, this is like our all lives matter. And... Yeah, like what? Let's keep. Let's keep it for right now. Don't make it about anything else. Just you know, we're not asking you to blast black music, hip hop. We're not asking you to post Black Lives Matter. Like, no. Yeah. Just, just let us have this. Let us have this without any shaming, any. <sighs> why can't it, it, we we celebrate this? Why why are they celebrating black people? They don't celebrate white people. We don't have a white people. Make just well, almost every holiday is a white person holiday. Yeah. I mean, if you go back in history yeah. and, and see things, most yeah. of the most of our holidays yeah. are either made up by white people or descendants of white people. So it, it's. I don't think that one should be at celebrated either. Yeah. You know, it shouldn't be a difference between yeah, either exactly. of them. Exactly. Um, I'm going to ask you a question. Mm -hmm. um, Martin Luther King. What about Martin, man? Yeah. What, what, does he, what does he mean to you? He means everything. His dream means everything. Yeah. His dream means everything. Oh. He had a dream and his dream came true. And a lot of people still don't believe in that dream. They still don't want us to be united. They still want us to be separated. Yeah. But what would that do? We still be, we bleed the same color blood. What are, what are we separated for? How about Rosa Parks and stuff? Loved her. Loved her. She, you know, she didn't get out of her seat. Yeah. And for this reason, you know, we're here. We, we can sit anywhere we want. I know. Like, I know some people, like, give me, like, Give me a hardest time. Yeah. Like, because I take stage coach mm -hmm. shots dry valley all the time. Mm -hmm. And, like, I'm doing what I was taught. Yeah. If I see a elderly you get up and you person, mm -hmm. I get up, mm -hmm. give them my seat. Yeah. But some people say, you don't need to do that. I'm doing as I would talk when I was younger. Yeah, and I I was taught the same thing, but I also went a step further where somebody that had a little kid with them or was pregnant or, yeah. you know, anybody that was in a compromised position that needed it, it didn't matter what color. Mm -hmm. it didn't uh, same, color. same, it didn't make same. Difference. I know it, things are taught a lot differently. Hate days. is taught. Yeah. Hate is taught. Yes. Hate is taught. Yeah, like, for example, if I call one of my great-grandmother's mm -hmm. friends by their first name in front of her, mm -hmm. she would... Go crazy, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's a yeah. level of respect. So, oh, Mrs. Yeah. Mrs. This or Mr. That. Yeah, I, I mean, we've come... We've come a long way, but we're still not 100% perfect, right? I don't think the world is ever going to be 100% perfect or 100% where we want it to be. Oh, yeah. But living in some sort of unity and being one with each other is really, really important. It's really important for our kids. It's mm -hmm. really important for us. It's really important for the harmony of the whole state, you know? That's why we teach love. Love is yeah. always taught. Love too. is always taught. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's and that's that's good. You know, when you take your daughter to a play group, mm -hmm. and most of the kids are white, or all of the kids are white. You know, you're not teaching her to stay away from them. Mm -hmm. You're teaching her to kind of come in together right. and play with the other kids, as long as they're playing decently, right? Yeah. And it would go for the same if you were in a black community, mm -hmm. right? If a kid's punching your daughter or biting your daughter, you're going to tell your daughter to stay clear of that kid, right? right. It doesn't matter what race. Yeah. Um, it's great, and I and definitely gonna miss you. You're, you're really I'm not leaving no time soon. A little I, ray of sunshine. I won't I miss you really too. No really have a great time. With we are all one race, the yeah. human race, and we all bleed the same blood. We, we all do. Bleed the same color so, blood. if there's one thing that you could tell, okay. If there's, a, if there's one thing that you could tell somebody that has been brought up racist and is still racist about the black community, what would that one thing be? What would you want to most say to that person? 
that if you were dying and you had to get a blood transfusion, you wouldn't know if it was from a black person or a white person because our blood is the same color. Yeah. Would you be racist then if you need it? There you go. True. Perfect. 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 That is awesome. Yeah. That makes a lot of sense too, right, Jay? Yes. We're all the same. We're all the it same. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. Um, and I think if less hate was taught, then we'd be in a better, better position, mm -hmm. you know? And then people, more diversity would happen in Vermont if we were a little more inclusive. I don't, I don't think no one knows about Vermont. I didn't know. I never heard of Vermont until like a couple years ago. I didn't know what Vermont was. Yeah, people like have to online think that it's a, they, they don't think it's a state. They have no idea that it's a state. Like Vermont? Yeah. Wait. People pick on Vermont that don't live here, but I, like I said, I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. Yeah. We need to promote Vermont. Promote Vermont so people know Vermont right. exists. Exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully through this podcast, our podcast, we're hoping to do that. You know, we're not, yeah. we're non-monetary. Mm -hmm. You know, we're just doing our thing. We're trying to bring some issues to to uh, to our to our city, and yeah. you know, go from there and just have fun doing it. And you know, that's all we really want to do, right? Right. Do you have any other questions for Destiny? No. No. Okay. All right. Do you want to sing, say us off? Thank, thank you, Destiny, for thank joining you. us on another thank episode you. of Thinking Out Loud. Thank you for having me, Jay. It's a pleasure.